day guys nice to have you here today we are going to discuss five very important things you should always keep in mind when playing as yin before we continue though i want to give my shout outs to jonah kavanesh guna anishi and qwerty quert thank you so much for always supporting the channel you guys are awesome be careful during the draft phase Yin is either a hit or miss hero. He can either overwhelm his prey in his domain so hard they should just stop trying to survive, or will be overwhelmed by his enemy so much he will just get humiliated in his own domain. In other words, he is only as good as the enemy he is matched up with. This is the reason why not too many people ban Yin especially on higher ranks. Ever since Yin got released, I only saw him getting banned once on the games I played, and that was on my third account, which is still in Legend. But for my other accounts, people really don't mind Yin kept open. The reason behind this is because there are tons of ways to counter Yin. As a matter of fact, even heroes Yin was designed to overwhelm can still outplay him as long as the player behind the screen knows how to overcome Yin. This means it's ideal picking Yin later on the draft rather than earlier. This gives you the opportunity to observe carefully first if the enemies are picking heroes that Yin can work great against. Yin's strength doesn't just ride on Kels. What makes Yin powerful is his ultimate. While we understand that Yin can have challenges against enemies with excellent mobility, keeping them in your domain still has advantages even if you fail to kill them. First of all, it allows your teammates in getting a better position for finishing off that enemy. His skill mechanics makes him an ideal split pusher due to his ability to clear minions fast and escape quickly in the event he gets ganked. And at the same time, he is an excellent hero in teamfights. It's rare finding heroes like that. Don't look at Yin as a main carry. In my opinion, it's best seeing Yin as a tactical hero. Use his ultimate to isolate key heroes whether they are tanks, supports, or core heroes. You may not be able to kill the tank hero, but the fact you held that hero in your domain for 8 seconds is already an advantage for your team since the enemies will lack a protector or a team setter. Positioning is extremely important. One of the reasons why I think Flicker is the most ideal spell on Yin is because of how important positioning is for his ultimate. When you use your ultimate on an enemy, your distance remains the same as it was before the domain was entered. This means if your target was significantly far from you when you used your ultimate, they will be far from you as well inside your domain. The rule I am following to not waste flicker is I only use it for heroes I can truly kill such as some squishier targets. If we are in a team fight and my goal is to disable the main healer or maybe the tank setter, I will not waste my flicker on them since my goal is to keep them useless from the team fight for 8 seconds. Yin doesn't have to kill them. Dealing some damage or even just forcing them to waste their skills is more than sufficient. Cooldown reduction is a very important stat for Yin. We all know Yin is very dynamic when it comes to the role he will be playing in. I however strongly believe that regardless of role or lane, having good cooldown reduction for Yin is very important. Not only is his ultimate very useful in team fights, his laning rides so hard on his first skill, which is in my opinion one of the fastest minion clearing skills in the game. Whether you're playing him as a roamer, jungler, or side laner, maxing out your cooldown reduction to 40% is highly recommended. Good decision-making skills is a must-have trait when you are playing Yin. While it's true that having good decision-making skills is important for any hero, but when playing Yin, you must absolutely have that trait. Without good decision-making skills, Yin is one of the most useless heroes around. Like I said earlier, there are a lot of things you should consider when playing Yin. When you are going to pick him. What are the heroes the enemy teams picked? What heroes your allies picked? Are we in a good position for Yin to use his ultimate? Is this the best time for Yin's ultimate? Is this a good target for Yin's ultimate? Unlike other heroes with straightforward skill mechanics, Yin is more dynamic. How his skill works is fairly simple and straightforward. 
it's the best situation to use this ultimate is what makes things a bit more complicated. If you have poor decision making skills, trust me, Yin is going to be a very, very bad choice. With that being said, here's the rest of the gameplay. Enjoy. I even scare myself when I fight. That concludes our Mobile Legends content for today. Do you have any other very important suggestions when it comes to playing in? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe everyone. Peace.